Two days ago, we released a new update for the Edgewonk Trading Journal. And in this video, we show you what is new and what has changed. The first thing you'll probably notice when you log into your Edgewonk Journal, there is a new column for your profit calendar. It's called total and it shows you the total amount of trades and profit for a given week. We also added the tilt meter here to the total column. And you'll also see a tilt meter for every single day, depending on how well you have managed and followed your trading rules. You can change the units for the profit calendar, not only for the individual days, but also for the total column by using the buttons here at the top. If you don't want to see the total column, this brings us to our next update and new feature. And when you go to the settings, you will see a new item called account. And in the beginning, now we only have three options, but over time we plan on adding more customization features here to the account settings. So going back to the calendar, if we untick this box, this will hide the profit calendar total column. And now you'll see you only have your Monday to Sunday columns here. When we go back to the account settings, you will see that there is also this last option here. And this points to our biggest new feature with this release of the Edgewonk Trading Journal update. And with this update, we have added a share a journal feature, meaning you can now share your trading journal with other Edgewonk users. By default, this is turned off. And if you want other traders and other users to share their trading journal with you, you have to enable this. And only then other Edgewonk users can send their trading journals to you. And now let me show you how the sharing is done. So we open our trading journal overview here. And this shows you all of the trading journals that you have created. And when you hover over one of those trading journals, there's a new icon here at the right. It's called Share Journal. So when you click it, this brings up this new menu or this new pop-up. And you only have to enter the email address of the user where you want to send your trading journal to. And then after you click Share Journal, your trading journal will be shared in a read-only mode, meaning the other trader can view your whole trading journal but he cannot make any changes to it. However, keep in mind the other user needs to make sure that he has enabled the sharing feature and only then will you be able to send your trading journal. After you've sent your trading journal to the other user, you can still make changes to your trading journal like you normally would and everything will stay the same for you. You will keep regular access to your trading journal. However, the other trader will also be able to see your trading journal and again, not make any changes. It's read only. We also moved our switch for the light and the dark mode here into our sidebar to make it more visible for our users. So here now when you click it, this will change between the light and the dark mode for you. When we go to the strategy lab and then to our simulator, we are now made the start balance field editable as well. So if you tick this box here, you can see you can edit all of the other input fields for win rate, average gain, average loss. And now with this update, you can also change the starting balance where the simulator will start its simulations. We added some new notifications as well that will help you stay on top of your trading and it will point out important insights and key performance events to you every week. And some notifications are going to work in real time. Now let's go to our journal. And if you have trades that follow different trade types, let's open one of the trades and here at the top, you can change the trade type. By default, all of the trades will be entered as spot trades. But if you're also trading futures or options trades, you can change that here and then Edgewonk will adjust automatically. And that's it for this update. We have made a lot of changes in the background, improved our servers, improved speed, accessibility, and we've also added a few new import functions, which you can see on edgewonk.com import, where you'll find an overview of all supported platforms. What's next for Edgewonk? We are currently working on better responsiveness, meaning that you will be able to use Edgewonk on your phone, on your tablet, and everything here will adjust automatically based on your screen size so that you can use it on whatever device you are most comfortable with. We're also working on a portfolio view, and this then gives you an overview of all created trading journals. So if you have multiple trading journals and you want to get an overview overall with aggregated statistics and compare different trading journals, that will become available soon as well. There are a few other things that we are currently working on and we will keep you updated along the way. Happy journaling.